One Arab energy country is thriving by moving away from oil. Oman LNG is producing liquefied natural gas as a cleaner alternative to promote sustainability and create new jobs in the Arab Peninsula. Hariba Balkitani is the CEO. Welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Ariane. <laughs> it's great to be here. Just yesterday, you were in London receiving the Petroleum Economist Award for Best CEO. And also, you just won an award as well for Best LNG Company in the Middle East. So congratulations. How does that feel? <laughs> thank you very much. It feels great, actually. And this is a testament for what the work that we are doing, uh, the company is doing very, very well and uh, our staff are working very hard. It's great to be recognized. So thank you very much <laughs> for your congratulations. Thank you. Harib, and I know you're working very closely with the government of Oman in diversifying the economy away from oil, which is currently the number one revenue contributor in your country. The Omani sure. government even owns half of the shares of your entire business. Indeed. So I want to hear all about it. We had a vision, uh, which was called 2020 Vision, to diversify away from oil. Oman LNG was created. So far, it has been doing very, very well. Actually, we are contributing uh, to about 10% of the revenues earned by the government. Still, oil is the top earner, but uh, Oman LNG is just behind that. And today, we are celebrating almost 20 years since the company has been formed. Now, global gas consumption is set to double next year. So how do you plan to keep up with the growing demand as well as keeping your business sustainable? LNG, or natural gas, is the friendliest energy you can find, apart from the renewables. So the expansion of the usage uh, of, L of natural gas in the world is expanding rapidly, but so is the supply. So we have more reserves which are coming uh, on stream. We have US new suppliers, and we have also on the demand side, China, India, Bangladesh, and other new countries on LNG, they are growing their, their demand. And uh, the location of Oman is already very strategic, right? Because Indeed. you have a, a stretched uh, coastline, and uh, that's key when it comes to trade. We are almost center of gravity as far as energy is concerned. Equidistance from the west to east. So we can tap the European market, we can tap the Far East uh, market. Number two, we are outside of Strait of Hormuz, which sometimes flares up. Uh, and is not uh, stable, so we are outside. And we have shown in our history that we are a very reliable supplier, very peaceful country, and indeed our shore is very long, which means that we can export from different parts of the, of the country. So, so far we have used the geographical location very well uh, to, to suit us and to suit the industry. And where do you identify a need for international expertise and new technology to increase uh, the efficiency in your company? We are employing uh, all the technology that we can find uh, in the world. We work with big companies, for instance, Shell, Total, and some Japanese companies, our shareholders, and they bring in technology from their side uh, of, the, of, of the industry. We also work with the General Electric and other suppliers, big suppliers of uh, modern equipment and modern technology in order to revamp or in order to modernize our plant. And how do you achieve transparency in corporate governance? I'm curious. This is something that we are very proud of. Uh, first, the country, from all the leadership uh, in the government, is pushing for good governance. It's pushing for transparency. Uh, we have a lot of uh, institutions or institutes in the country and also from our shareholders to make sure that we are well governed and we are very transparent. We have, for instance, government state auditors who are doing check and balance on what we are doing. We have our shareholders who have the right to come in and audit the company on what we do. We have a very good structure in terms of the whole organization and how it is governed and so on. And, and the reporting and the auditing by external bodies, by internal bodies, make sure that we are on the right track, we are well governed and we are very transparent. How do you manage corporate social responsibility? So this is a very important part of our, of our business. Uh, it's also a key to operate. We have the best and maybe the biggest CSR uh, initiative uh, in the country and maybe in the region. We have committed almost $500 million to help the community. We've already spent over $300 million in the last uh, 20 years to help community in health, education, social uh, uh, assistance, uh, in medical. 
in a, in a lot of uh, areas. We have done almost 7,000 projects and we have created 50,000 jobs, either directly or indirectly. So we are right ahead of the pack in terms of CSR. And how do you ensure safety in a business where employers are required to handle heavy machinery and very dangerous chemicals? It's interesting you ask that because we just recently celebrated reaching 35 million men hours without lost time and injury. We've also passed 30 million men hours of safe driving. Safety for us is a way of life. Culture in the company is all focused on doing safe work and stopping work which is not safe. This is in everybody's mind. The culture has totally changed uh, from the way we work, from the way we deal with our contractors when they come to work, which is a big issue, a big challenge for many companies. How do you deal with different culture when a contractor comes to work at your site? And that we have really pinned it down. We are working hand in hand to make sure people come to work safely and they go to their family, they go back to their family safe. So how do you see LNG changing in the coming decades with so many businesses going electric due to climate change? Because we are one of the least pollutant uh, fuel, if you like, yeah? Uh, LNG has always been environmentally friendly. Actually, the next generation of vessels, for instance, floating in the sea, they are pushed to use LNG or natural gas instead of uh, fuel because of the, of the sulfur uh, emission. We are also employing uh, technology to make sure we don't emit any pollutants into the atmosphere. We look after our uh, effluent seawater, which goes to the sea, that is very, very pure. So the industry itself is known to be very, very uh, environmentally friendly. And we will keep it that way because the world needs this type of, uh, of energy. Thank you so much, Hariba. Have a safe trip back to Oman. Thank you, Ariane. It's really been great to be here and to see you. Thank you.